One of the confusing aspects of DaVinci Resolve, especially if you're new to the software and don't have someone like me to guide you, is that there are two versions, the paid version and the free version. The free version of Resolve is called DaVinci Resolve Lite, and in this movie we're going to explore the differences between the paid and light versions. It'll help you decide if you need to upgrade to the paid, or as I sometimes will call it, the full version of DaVinci Resolve. So, here's the deal. The first thing to know, the paid version is a different download from the light version. They are two different pieces of software. How do you know if you're able to run the paid version of Resolve? Easy. You need this, a USB dongle. If you download the paid version of Resolve, you'll need this dongle inserted into your computer and it needs to stay inserted the whole time DaVinci Resolve is running. And even though this image shows my original Mac version of the Resolve 8 dongle, which I'm still using today, if you have any Resolve dongle, including the one shown here, it runs both the Windows and Mac version of DaVinci Resolve. If you don't have this dongle, then you must download and use DaVinci Resolve Lite. The paid version can be bought from Blackmagic Design resellers. It also ships with Blackmagic's range of cinema cameras, but not the pocket camera. And you'll always find the most recent software version of Resolve on their website. The Lite version can be freely downloaded and is always kept in version parity with the paid version, so you don't have to worry if you're running Lite that you'll be left behind with new features. Doesn't happen. Which brings us to the question, what's the difference between the light and paid versions of Resolve? When it comes to features that are enabled for paid users and disabled for light users, the single most obvious standout is noise reduction. Light users will find that this noise reduction panel is dimmed out and none of the controls are accessible. If you go to the color tab, which we will cover in depth throughout this training series, this is one of only two panels that are inaccessible to light users. Otherwise, light users have the same full access to Resolve's color grading tool set as paid users. What if you're a light user but need noise reduction? You'll either have to upgrade to the paid version or you'll have to buy a third party OpenFX noise reduction plugin. The second panel that light users can't access, the Stereo 3D panel. Resolve Lite does not support any 3D functionality. There are some other non-obvious restrictions in DaVinci Resolve Lite, and you won't notice them until you need them. Light users can't render to any image size larger than Ultra HD. This means if you need to deliver to your client a true 4K image or larger, it's the paid version for you. But Lite can play back 4K and larger images, so if your footage was shot at 5K and you're rendering out to HD, say 1080p, no problem. As a light user, you can do that just fine. The restriction is only on rendering. Light users are also restricted to Resolve using a single graphics card for image processing. If you need to scale up for more real-time functionality and you want to do so by adding additional graphics cards, you can do that with the paid version, but that's not going to happen if you're running light unless... You're one of the lucky ones running a new Mac Pro, which ships with dual GPUs. On these rigs, light users can take full advantage of the dual GPU support offered by DaVinci Resolve if you send out your user interface over the Thunderbolt 2 port. Next, we get to the post-production facility type of features that are disabled on DaVinci Resolve Lite. First, no real-time playout to tape decks, otherwise known in Resolve land as power mastering. Then there's no support for the DaVinci Resolve control surface. This $30,000 custom panel from Blackmagic costs the same as an entry-level luxury sedan, and it can only be run if you have a USB dongle. The good news, if you decide to buy one of these bad boys, the USB dongle is included with every purchase. Also, there are no shared databases, so if you're running multiple rooms of DaVinci Resolve and you want them each to access a central server so that any room can open any project at any time, no go with DaVinci Resolve Lite. And this restriction has implications for a few other features. Resolve 11 introduced a brand new, and in my mind, paradigm-shifting feature called the Collaborative Workspace. It allows multiple seats of Resolve 
to open the exact same DaVinci Resolve project and work on it simultaneously. This would allow an editor to edit the timeline while an assistant loads and logs incoming footage, and while all that is going on, you could have a junior colorist doing the initial shot balancing while the senior colorist is designing the look. All of this simultaneously with the exact same project file open on these five different workstations. It's a breakthrough workflow, and not only must you be working on the paid version of Resolve, every seat involved in this workflow must have a dongle. Along the same lines, remote grading, which allows me in Orlando to color grade a project while you watch my work in real time in London. That's not available if you're running DaVinci Resolve Lite. So, do you need the full version of DaVinci Resolve? If you need noise reduction and don't want to use a third-party plugin such as the excellent Neat Video Open Effects solution, yes, you'll need to upgrade. Do you need to render to 4K or larger frame sizes? Yes, that's a paid-only feature. Do you need to run multiple seats of Resolve, all sharing the same database, such as in the new collaborative workflow? Yup you'll have to upgrade. Do you want to enable more real-time functionality by adding two or more graphics cards? You betcha, an upgrade. Finally, are you working on stereoscopic projects? Then it's the paid version for you. If you answered yes to any of these questions I just asked, you'll need the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. The only exception being noise reduction, if you use a third-party OpenFX plugin, you can still use the light version and get noise reduction. The projects created by both versions are identical and can be freely swapped between the versions. It's just what tools you can access will depend if you're running with the dongle or not and have the paid or light version installed. And now that we know which version of DaVinci Resolve is appropriate for you, you're going to learn how to properly set up a DaVinci Resolve system in the next few movies. Remember, Resolve is a mature product that's extremely powerful. If you want to get the most out of it, and have an enjoyable experience using it, don't skip these movies on setting up a Resolve workstation properly.